I give you this, I give you that, and then they snatch it right back. Uh, I want some wine too, I want some fish too, I want some. Hey, shut the noise, get back under the Make the drama, blood of a dynasty, heart of a chief. Warriors who rumble and storming beneath my feet with the pain of my warriors and my blood as it creep. Flexing because we pump, cause we put in the sleep. Yes, blood of a dynasty, heart of a chief. Warriors who rumble and storming beneath my feet with the pain of my warriors and my blood as it creep. Flexing because we pump, cause we put in the sleep. Yes. Hey, aloha everyone, my name is Kaleo Farias. Uh, we're down here at the McKinley uh, High School today. Uh, supposedly, quote unquote, President's Day. Uh, yeah, today, Americans uh, is celebrating, you know, uh, you know, President's Day, but actually we're here today to uh, make a, a statement and to, uh, again, bring awareness uh, about the McKinley statue, that it's a huge, big, not only lie, but misrepresentation of who we are and our history, our people, and that there was no treaty of annexation. 1893 and 1898, it was, again, it was defeated, uh, you know, because of our ancestors. And I have one of my ancestors here right now, you know, that I'm holding. I'm here to honor my, my kapunas, you know, that signed the Kuwe petition that was against the treaty of annexation. And we're here to make a statement, again, to the world once again, you know, about our, our, about our situation here in Hawaii. So we have, um, about 600 uh, of uh, 600 signs with uh, ancestors of ours that have signed the Kuwe petition. Uh, again, those of you that don't know about the Kuwe petition, go on Google and type in Kuwe petition, and you guys can read all about it. It's, it's all right there, right in front of you. And all we do is just provide facts, and we uh, uh, again rely on everyone to make uh, you know their own conscious decision, you know, to stand up for the truth and stand up for justice and to stand up for what is porno and what is right. And again, that is why I'm here today, because it's an honor, you know, to be able to, uh, again, be a part of my kapunas and our history, and our, uh, and again, to continue, you know, that legacy, that we are not American citizens, and we are not the 50th state. That's right, we are not Americans, and we are not the 50th state. We are a country that is illegally occupied by the United States Corporation, the military, the state is an extended arm of, the, of that military, and we are under martial law here. So those of you in China, Japan, Germany, other countries that we had treaties with, we ask you guys to assist us, support us, and make sure that we educate our people under their rights under international law. Okay? Uh, what is your feelings about, since all this great manal you shared with me, uh, what is your feelings towards the uh, cockabill? Oh, <laughs> heva, heva. In Hawaii it means resistance or wrong just flat out wrong because again we are not indigenous again to the united states you know again kalikoa you know stated it well at the meeting in maui he asked robin danner of the council for native hawaiian government when did the hawaiian people become indigenous to the united states she said never and that's right never so everybody's getting caught in their lies and i love the internet i love the social media because now you know like you know tiger woods everybody is exposed you cannot hide what you do anymore and it's just a matter of time and again the akako bill is a misrepresentation of hawaii its people and our history it's heva and uh how dare you know they even interfere with uh, our self-determination if the united states really wanted to help us they would assist us in educating all of the hawaiian nationals around the world 600,000 to be exact under their census maybe more but under their rights under international law we are a sovereign independent neutral country 
which uh, again that's why Japan attacked Hawaii because they knew that the United States was breaking multiple uh, not only treaties but they also broke uh, numerous international law uh, again we are a neutral country you're not supposed to build military bases in a neutral country now all of us is in harm's way now we have all these you know missile range you know the barking sands we have weapons of mass destruction yes. pointing at everybody else <laughs> making right. us the number one target that's right that's right and, and again we are the biggest military uh, uh, in the world you know the pacific command and again we need to ha have everyone all of humanity to help us to end the U.S. occupation. That is our objective and to replace that with a free Hawaii. So anyway, yeah, we're down here at McKinley Statue. My name is Kaleo Farias, a Hawaiian national, a proud one. And again, uh, you can reach me at 489-7065. Email me, kaleo at hawaiitvblog.com. And I have a, a blog as well. You guys can check out every day, hawaiitvblog.com, that confronts the agents, the state, uh, the again, fake state workers, and even the general public about our issue here in Hawaii and about confronting, uh, again, this issue in a national light, not in a domestic United States framework, because we are not uh, wards of the state. We are, uh, we are an independent country that was recognized November 28, 1843 from France and Britain. So uh, you guys can also check out many other websites that is out there uh, that I would highly recommend. So. Uh, you know, Maoli World, I mean, you know, there's a whole bunch of other, uh, you know, groups that you can join. Uh, but I would highly recommend that you guys participate because you either stand up for something or you fall for every Tom, Dick and Harry story out there. So again, Epono, Ahuiho. Ahuiho, Aloha. Aloha. Is that? The land of the home and free What is that?